Hey folks, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Nick, and I have the pleasure of presenting today the new Getting Started with Recaptcha Enterprise content. Uh, I, we are going to throw a ton of information at you, so I do want to preface this by saying at the end of this recorded session, we will put together a community post that will live in the community, and we'll have all the links, all the resources that we cover today. So don't stress about that. Try to just take it all in because we're going to throw a lot at you. But with that being said, let's jump in. Quick, just a really fast intro. My name is Nick. I'm a customer success manager here at Google. I've been here for about three years and it is my job to make sure that you, our customers, partners, get access to all the enablement resources you may need so that you can have as much success as possible implementing a wide variety of Google Cloud's products. So today's session is fairly simple. There's four main goals we're going to touch on. The first goal being I want you to know the key phases of implementing reCAPTCHA Enterprise. Next, I want you to know how to get help with your technical questions or issues. Third, I want you to learn about the resources that are available to you guys at any time, on demand, you can access and take them at your own pace. And then lastly, I want you all to learn how to get connected with other peers and some of our security experts inside of the security community. So let's jump in. Uh, reCAPTCHA has poured hundreds and hundreds of hours into our documentation. They have made it as comprehensive as humanly possible. So that includes any FAQs, uh, reCAPTCHA fundamentals, any product information, re release notes even, live inside of our documentation. That can be found at the link or you can simply Google reCAPTCHA documentation uh, and it'll take you to the, the pertinent information that you're looking for. Next, we've got our reCAPTCHA events, and these are coming soon. These are being worked on as I speak. Uh, this is going to look like security expert meetups, uh, meetups with some of our peers, more of social gatherings. We're going to continue doing some of these live webinar sessions uh, and recorded webinar sessions, as well as additional events. More information on that is coming in the community is where it'll be announced. Uh, again, highly recommend you jump into the community. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a minute. So getting started, I want to talk on the, all of the key onboarding phases, kind of A to Z. What does it look like from, okay, I have reCAPTCHA to analyzing, interpreting your first assessment. So first, we're, I want to talk through installing and configuring your enterprise based on your hosting environment. Super important that you keep in mind this is all based on the hosting environment that you have. All the documentation step-by-step -step guide is actually listed in that link right there. So I'm not going to dive into it right now. Go follow that step-by-step -step guide. Then next, we'll talk about enabling reCAPTCHA Enterprise API and off. Again, GCP and non-GCP customers alike, there's step-by-step -step docs listed right there. Third, you're going to want to create your site key. And there's a link to talk Again, step-by-step step through everything you need to know, and you'll select score-based or checkbox-based, checkbox-based, and the uh, differentiating factors are also noted in some documentation there. Uh, then from there, you're creating your first assessment. So once you've created your first assessment, then you got to know how to interpret your first assessment. So we've aligned documentation on what that looks like. Once you've interpreted that assessment, you have an idea, you have the option to maybe even go a step further and annotate that assessment. Um, and that's a completely optional, that's up to you. But from there, you're in the production phase, it's the go live, and now you wanna kinda keep an eye on it and get support if you need it. So that's a perfect segue leading into the reCAPTCHA Enterprise documentation and support. This is all documentation, resources that are available to you on demand at any time, and they are extremely helpful. So the first one I want to touch on is these developer guides. You just navigate to that hyperlink and then highlighted by the green box, you see guides, you click on that. And then on the left-hand side is a myriad of different guides from quick starts to just a generic overview. Um, if you're looking for specific use case samples, those are also listed there. Highly, highly recommend jumping into our developer guides and familiarizing yourself with it because you will lean on them quite a bit. If you want to know how to get access to support, maybe you're having a significant issue or something specific the documentation isn't covering. Same place, you'll click on that hyperlink, you'll go to the red box that's highlighted there, support, and then there's different support options if you want information on your billing or you just simply need to ask a question. This is where you will do that. 
Uh, next, I want to address just a few FAQs, get them out of the way, because chances are you're going to have this question as you're implementing reCAPTCHA. So all of these FAQs are documented and they live in that same space under resources. And then uh, that's highlighted in green. And then in red, there are the frequently asked questions. So none of these will be, are undocumented. You can find these later if you need. But the first one is, how many domains can I add in the verified domains list in the Google Cloud Console? As of today, there is a limit of 250 domains per site key. And the next one here is, can I use reCAPTCHA Enterprise at a global level? Yes, the answer is yes. And there's step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Um, inside of the documentation that we've linked, but you can also view the step-by-step -step here, really quick high-level overview um, on this slide. Uh, the next one is the reCAPTCHA enterprise pricing model. So if you wanna know how the pricing model lo looks, uh, what is, where do I start? How do, how, what does it look like when I have thousands of assessments? Uh, all of that information is in reCAPTCHA enterprise pricing and the link is there for you. So, Finally, I want to talk with you guys about jumping into the security community. The security community was built because we had a need for customers to find answers on demand. They wanted to have meaningful connections, wanted to share some use case ideas and help each other build skills. So the community was born. Inside of this community, we've got things like our product discussion forums. That's where you, customers, partners, even Googlers like myself will start a conversation. You can add to it by uh, commenting or answering a specific question. This is a perfect place for you guys to connect with other like-minded individuals who are working on the same projects. Next, we've got the community blogs. This is where the Google leadership will post technical content specific to Google Cloud customers that you guys can access anytime. There's a ton of great information inside of our blog space on the community. Highly recommend you jump into that. And then finally, we're working with our product teams now to implement an Ask Me Anything series. I think this is going to be one of our most popular events that we host in the community. This is where we'll get an expert, a customer engineer, um, customer success manager like myself to jump in, get into some of the nitty gritty of the, uh, of the products and uh, host a live real-time AMA so uh, we can connect even more. So really quick, just want to touch on how do we use the security community? Just go to googlecloudcommunity.com. You'll click in login on the top right. Then you're prompted with login with your Google. You do not have to register with a Google account. On the right-hand side, it says users without a Google account. Just hit register now and you can use a different email. Totally up to you. But once you are in, I'm actually going to show you folks in live time or in real time, excuse me, what that looks like. So when you get to the Google Cloud Community homepage, this is what it's going to look like. It'll, you'll know you're logged in when you can see your avatar here. Uh, the Google Cloud Community is noted up top and then your username. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the security tab, or I'm sorry, the security box. Click on that. And then you will first be put into the forum post section. This is where you can uh, access, you can sort by labels here on specific products. If you want to look for just recapture information, you can click there. If you want to sort by most viewed, most commented, you could also do that. If you're looking for a specific question and you couldn't find it in your first initial scroll, recommend you guys use the search function. This search function is incredible. It scours the entire um, list of all the forum posts. And if you have any uh, pertinent keywords in there, it'll show you which posts are uh, available with that information. But if you're not finding it even still, all you have to do is click on start a conversation. You can enter in the subject here, whatever that looks like, the body of your question, this is the most important part. On the right-hand side, we've got choose a label. If you do not choose an appropriate label, i.e. reCAPTCHA, or you can even add multiple, such as Security Command Center and reCAPTCHA or Chronicle as well, any of them, you can't post if you don't put this label. But once you've added a label, simply hit post, I'm not going to post anything right now. Then you'll hit cancel, or if, you're, if you don't want to post, you hit cancel. And then you're back here. 
There is a ton of great information across the top. We've got learning forums, articles, information. Highly recommend you jump into the security community. This is where you're going to find we communicate most of our information for the product. So with all that being said, I want to cover some next steps for you. First is jump into the community. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you're a new user, Share, uh, jump in, read some of the tips that our uh, more veteran seasoned users have learned. Uh, keep in touch with us in the community. Then I want you guys to familiarize yourself with the support and documentation. And then finally, create your first assessment. And if you're going along this journey and you have questions and you're not sure where to go, you don't know what uh, what your next step looks like, that's totally fine. Join us in the community, create an account. You'll find folks, Googlers, just like myself. I'm very active and engaged in the community to help you with those questions. Until then, we will talk soon.